Hey guys, what's up? John from FlyMyCalpha.com, and today we're going to be talking about PyReps, pilot reports. So what they are, how to use them, where you're going to get them, and most importantly, how to understand them. Since now with ADSB, you're going to be getting more and more textual weather coming into your cockpit, it's really important to be able to decipher these on your own without having to have Flight Service or ATC do it for you. So a pilot report is just a report made by a pilot to ATC. So as somebody's flying along, they're like, hey, yo, it's bumpy. Or, hey, I'm picking up some ice. Hey, it's uh, really clear. Or those clouds were a lot lower than they were forecast to be. Or the tops are a lot higher than they were forecast to be. So this is the sort of information that's going to go in to a pilot report. So you don't necessarily have to carry one of these with you, but it's not a bad idea to print out this page and the page below it, just so you have a nice little instructional manual with you in your airplane when you're flying along, especially on those longer flights where you get really bored when you're building up that cross-country time, flying three, four hours at a time, you got nothing to do, you can pull out one of these things and file a pilot report for the heck of it, or go ahead and see what sort of pyreps there are around you. So they're obviously going to use the three-letter station identifier, whether it's a routine report, UA, or urgent report, UUA, like, hey, there's moderate to severe icing or severe turbulence, things like that would be very urgent. Uh, the location, the time, the altitude you're at or flight level, the aircraft type, whether it's a Cessna 172 or a Boeing 747. If a Boeing 747 reports light turbulence, that's probably going to be very pertinent that it's a 747 reporting it because if you were to fly through the same light turbulence they reported at 5,000 feet in your 172, that's probably going to be moderate or severe for you. So that's why the type that of aircraft that's reporting it is very important to know. And then other things. So items one through five are mandatory up here, but these are just depending on what the weather's doing. So if the sky is clear, they may say so, or they may just leave it out. What type of weather there is, temperature, wind, turbulence, icing remarks, things like that. So then there's all these codes down here that you could use to decode it. Rather than going through all this, it's a little boring, we're going to go ahead and just jump into finding some examples and decoding them ourselves. This page here, or these two pages rather, if you want to get to them, are under the Pilot Resources tab on flightmikehealth.com. So under Ask a Question, go to the Pilot Resources tab and you'll find them there. So to access some pilot reports, we could do 1-800-weatherbrief.com, we could go to Aviation Weather Center, aviationweather.gov, and under Observations, it's Aircraft Reports. That'll bring us up to this page here with all of our PIREPs in the area, and we can go ahead and just start clicking on them. So we have one down here. These are the flight levels they were filed at. So flight level 360, not really too pertinent to us and our little airplanes. Flight level uh, 100, 10,000 feet, maybe we might get up there. 2,000 feet sounds pretty good. So PIREP filed, and the station that it was filed with is ISM. It's a routine report, UA, over ISM, so it's directly over ISM uh, VOR. And the time was 1733 Zulu, flight level 20, so 2,000 feet. And type was a PC-12, Pilatus PC-12. And light turbulence is what they're reporting. That's about it. So light turbulence at 2,000 feet. Shocker. It's Florida. It's sunny outside. And there's light turbulence at 2,000 feet. Who would have guessed it? And a PC-12, well, that's a single-engine turboprop aircraft. So bigger than a 172, but not like a huge airplane or anything. So it's pertinent to us. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other reports here. So we got one at 10,000 feet here. And that is a pirate from an SF-34. So Reserve Hills, it's about, uh, let's see here, 187 degrees, 33 miles from, so 33 miles south, the Ocala VOR is their location. And the time was 1728 Zulu, 10,000 feet, type SF-34, it's a Saab 340. Um, there's also an SF-34 that's a glider, but I'm guessing that uh, was probably a Saab 340, Silver Airways running around Florida like they always do. Sky conditions are uh, scattered and tops unknown on the scattered and then sky clear. Besides that, kind of a weird way to write that. And then for weather, we got, uh, well, visibility is unrestricted, 99 statue miles. Temperature aloft is 30 degrees Celsius and the winds are 010 at 3 knots. That is magnetic. And turbulence, negative turbulence, uh, there is none. And icing, negative, no icing. So... Not a whole lot going on there at 10,000 feet. Calm winds, good viz, and nothing else too pertinent.
Let's see what else we got here. Got another one, 2,500 feet. This is a Pyrep from a Hilo. And uh, station TIX over TIX, the 175 degree radial at 12 miles, 12 miles south of TIX. Uh, the time is 1852, flight level 025. Type is a helicopter. The sky conditions are scattered 3,500. A uh, smooth ride and few 3,000 feet. Again, there's a couple things to note here. A, this is a newer report, so it's more pertinent. It's actually what's closer to happening right now, since obviously whenever you make a PIREP, it's instantly out of date because it's just an observation. Now, also, it's a helicopter. Helicopters don't experience as much turbulence as little airplanes do. So when they say there's no turbulence or it's smooth, it might be light turbulence for a 172, but probably not much. But if they report light or moderate turbulence in a helicopter, it's probably going to be pretty bumpy in your 172. All right, guys, last one here. We're going to go ahead and click on it. it looks like it's 42 Juliet's where it's near. I'm going to show you another way to read all these. So we're going to come on down here and say we were flying from the airport of 42 Juliet. I want to know what's going on with around about 100 miles of that area. I'm going to click Get Reports. It's going to be the textual reports, and I can say I only care about the stuff that happened in the last 90 minutes or show me what's happened uh, in the last two hours. Again, nothing more uh, past four hours. Okay, there's an extra one there. And then I could go raw or I could go decoded, and it'll make it a little easier for you to read. We're going to stick with the raw format. I like it better. It's a little more concise. So anyways, here we go. Over 42 Juliet, we had a routine report, UA, that was over Ocala, 020, 52 miles. So 020 radial, 52 miles from Ocala was the precise position. Time, 1855, pretty recent. Flight level 090, 9,000 feet. Type an SF-34, another Saab flying around out there. The sky conditions were scattered, tops up to 9,000 feet. Other than that, sky is clear. Uh, we got good visibility again. The temperature loft was unknown. Maybe their temp wasn't working for some reason. The winds were 229 at 12 knots. Turbulence, occasional light chop, no icing. So pretty uh, good day to go fly, looks like. That's really all I got for you guys here on Pyreps. Hopefully you guys find that helpful. When you go ahead and click around aviationweather.gov, you can see all the different pyreps around the country. When you see a lot of pyreps, that's probably because there's some nasty weather in that area. But the absence of pyreps doesn't mean the weather's necessarily good. It just means no one else is flying to report. So it could be the weather's super, super bad. Obviously, look at things that are pertinent to you, other similar type aircraft, and similar altitudes you're going to be flying at. If you guys find that helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, make sure you keep up with our latest videos, really appreciate you guys watching. Check out our totally free online private pilot ground school. This video is part of the totally free online private pilot ground school in the weather section. Be sure to support us on Patreon, we greatly appreciate all your support, it helps us keep this a totally free online resource for everyone and fund our free online private pilot ground school. As always guys, if you cannot fly every day, then fly 8 We'll see y'all next time.